How to remove someone from an email thread after sending. Have you ever sent an email and then realized that someone on the recipient list shouldn't be there? Maybe you included the wrong person or decided that they don't need to be part of the conversation anymore. Removing someone from an email thread after sending can be a bit tricky, but there are some steps you can take to handle the situation effectively. First, let's talk about why you might want to remove someone from an email thread. It could be because the conversation has become internal and doesn't involve the original recipient, or perhaps the person added wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. Whatever the reason, here's how you can do it. When you need to remove someone from the loop, you should inform the other recipients about the change. Start your next email in the thread by mentioning that you are removing the person. For example, you could write, removing Bob from the loop at the top of your email. This way, everyone knows that Bob is no longer part of the conversation. Here's an example of how you might structure this email. To Scott, C. Gary, Dave, Sophie, subject, subject, removing Bob from the loop. Hi, Scott. Email content. By clearly stating that Bob is being removed, you avoid confusion and ensure that everyone is on the same page. Another approach is to move the person to the BCC, blind carbon copy field, instead of completely removing them. This is useful if you still want the person to receive the emails, but don't want them to be visible to the other recipients. To do this, simply move their email address from the CC or to field to the BCC field and mention it in the email body, like moving Bob to BCC. To Scott, CZ, Dave, Sophie subject, subject, moving Bob to BCC. This method is particularly useful when you want to keep someone informed but don't want to involve them directly in the conversation. It's also important to be mindful of why you're adding or removing people from email threads. Always state the reason for adding someone new so it's clear why they are being included. For instance, adding Dave to the loop during the daily scrum today, it was mentioned he has worked on similar issues and might have some input. By following these steps, you can manage your email threads more effectively and ensure that the right people are involved in the conversation. Remember to always be clear and transparent about changes to the recipient list to avoid any confusion or misunderstandings.